everybody welcome back to the homestead uh, what a crazy week this has been it's uh 30 well today is 28 degrees celsius but feels something like uh 35 degrees celsius with the humidex so with the hu humidity it feels that hot all week it's been like that we've had some days over 30 degrees and closer to 40 with the humidex and uh, just not used to that yet especially for early june we're probably 10 to t yeah, probably 10 degrees above normal, 10 degrees Celsius. Um, so that's significant. Uh, the problem also is though, we have a, a drought. It's actually a fire ban in effect for a good part of Ontario, Canada, where I'm where I'm at. And uh, you know, I'm, I'm nervous myself, like having a fire around this site with all the conifers that I've got and all the dry tinder on the ground. It's, uh, it's pretty dangerous. So I've been, Spent a lot of time out on the water fishing and and uh, canoeing and spending time with my family just enjoying the the warm weather kind of taking it easy somewhat um, the garden's taking a lot of my time I'm trying to keep everything watered and I'm concerned about the water levels here on the property already so I've been using the uh, last of the water in that big tote water tote it's a thousand liters and it's down to the last probably what 35 liters maybe and the uh, reservoir inside the greenhouse is down about half as well that's uh, what is it 4500 liters so over eight, over 800 gallons yeah closer to a thousand gallon tank and it's down about half now I've been using it to water the plants inside the greenhouse uh, the stream itself is getting really low too it's almost stagnant in a couple of spots almost stopped flowing and uh, the reason for that is that the well we just don't have any rains recharging the beaver ponds most of this stream is fed from upstream and it's mostly just um, spring melt from snow and uh, rainfall there's a small spring up here on the property and it comes down through the meadow here and feeds into this into the stream behind me so that'll always have a little bit of water running through it and it's cold and clean but um, I can't count on it being enough. The whole meadow seems to be pretty dry or pretty wet and stays that way probably from those springs. I'm assuming there's other springs that feed it. But the main body in, uh, though is low, the main body of the stream because it is, like I said, it's uh, meltwater fed and we had a far less snow than normal this year too. So we're pretty much in the drought conditions already. So keeping things watered is a struggle. Keeping the plants inside the greenhouse has been fine so far, but it's been excessively hot for this early and with the plants just being small and tender still. So I put the shade cloth up in the ceiling that's helping. I've got the fans hooked on full, like proper tilt so they're getting maximum sun and uh, they're running full speed during, during the hot parts of the day. Deer flies are out as you can see. Um, <laughs> maybe the only good thing about this hot weather is that the mosquitoes and the black flies are are less than usual black flies are almost done completely already and the mosquitoes aren't as bad especially during the day it's still bad in the evening but nowhere near as bad as it would be if we had a wet spring or a lot of snow this winter so it's getting up again hot today so i'm just packing up here again and i'm going to get out in the water and do some fishing just enjoy the uh hot weather and, and get back at it. It cools down a little bit tomorrow and I think it's overcast with a slight chance of showers. So I'll be back out here doing some stuff all day where I can work in that kind of temperature. So I spent some time uh, putting that metal roof on that solar shed. I wasn't going to bother until I was ready to put the solar panels on, but I figured, first of all, wind blew the tar paper off. Had a high wind come through the valley here. Um, so I had gaps in the, in the roof but I'm using it as, as water collection. So I put that metal roof on and a gutter going into that rain barrel. I'll get another barrel. I think I've got still a couple more lying around and I've got that tote. If um, I'm not happy with the way the rain barrels are filling up, whiskey barrels, then I'll move that tote over there. Um, but the other thing I wanna do is collect water off the greenhouse as well. So I've got a couple other scrap pieces of uh, eaves trough that I can attach to that and probably feed it into a water reservoir outside and then have that run inside to fill the reservoir as well. So it's a lot of work doing all these, getting all these systems set up for food production, but 
this is a kind of year that it's kind of forcing me to deal with it. I guess what I forgot to mention though why I'm struggling with all this surface water and rainwater is that I ordered parts for a uh, um, sandpoint well for two of them actually one in the greenhouse and one in the future cabin and it's been three weeks maybe four weeks and every time I think it's about to arrive I'm gonna get an email or text saying that uh, I can drive into town to pick it up I get an email instead saying the order has been cancelled because the materials not available so I've been calling around I thought I had a guy uh, ready to make some for me this week and uh, he hasn't gotten back to me now and I can't get a hold of him so he's uh, <laughs> avoiding me so materials just not available the only thing I'm missing is the well I need another hand pump but the uh, threaded rod um, I need about 30 feet of it to go down into the ground attached to that sand point so um, that's frustrating if I had that I would have already had the reservoir filled inside the greenhouse just by pump water from the well anyway I'm hoping that can get resolved I've got to, got to uh, make a trip into town tomorrow so I think I'll stop by and see if I can rustle some up or maybe have to drive down to the big city and hate doing that but uh, somebody's got to have it somewhere I'm assuming down in Toronto they might anyway yeah I'm gonna shut it off shut the video off and uh, get uh, the canoe out and get out in the water so if you um, want to continue to watch what I'm doing here then you can click on the playlist for 2021 uh, homestead videos bottom left hand corner of your screen and for the most recent video the top left hand corner of the screen so thanks for watching I look forward to see you at the cabin next time take care